All right. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dungeon Master Failures. We're we're just called Dungeon Failures. Wow. Eh. Cut that out. <laughs> I, I can't cut this out. This yeah, is hilarious. Either. Yeah. Yeah, we're. I'm good. I'm just gonna keep saying Dungeon Master Failure if you guys are gonna say like Dungeon Failure oh or, or whatever we're calling ourselves. Um, uh, That's it's called Dungeon thing. Failures, and uh, if you don't get it right, uh, I will hunt you down and steal your girlfriend. All right, let me go ahead. Let me and... Trying to steal my woman. Wait, How's that way? threat though? Because All right. He loves you very much. Let me go and ahead. I and... love you very much. Hey, let's introduce yourselves. Oh, lady, but first, let me introduce to my audience what's going on first on my channel. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Um, so this is Ren Dragon Spear, and today is the first day of D and D with all the lost people here. Um, so as you haven't known, I love D and D, and I possibly have talked about it in past videos. Um, not recently though. And yes, this is one of the main things I was talking about in some of my past videos. So I hope you guys really like this and don't judge me by how crazy this is going to go. Also, for the other people out there, this is going to be posted on, we are posting this to three different channels, right? Rin Dragon Spear, Mines, Lady Lost 13, Pleasure Me All Y'all, I'm Lady. And isn't our DM, Shadow Phoenix, playing to post this as well? When I create my channel, yes. You, you're gonna post this on your channel? Yeah, I'm gonna post this on our channel. Okay, so we're posting this to three different channels. Mines will probably just be podcasts. If we ever decide to actually show visuals, mines will probably just still be podcasts. But right now, we're just planning to do podcasts, and I think it's time for all of us to introduce. If you guys can tell in the streams, we already have our characters' names up there, and I think we should introduce ourselves and our characters. Am I right? Uh, yeah. Yep. So, Let's I am your host, hosting DM, Shadow Phoenix, and I will totally not try and get all these monotical fools killed on the first day. He's the person in the middle of the picture, and I guess I'll go first, and we're probably going to go from right to left. I am I'm Lady Lost, but in this time, I'm playing Dill, Dill Smith. Lovable half orc. Totally gonna die first. Probably. <laughs> Ren, it's your turn. Oh, um, I am Ren Dragon Spear, and I am going to be playing Sam Dusno in this session. Um, yeah, basically, I'm sorry, I lost track of what else I'm supposed to say. He's a child. Oh, yes. Moving on to the next yes, person. Yes, he's a child. And he has a, a, a brother familiar. This is going to be fun. I don't know that yet. You'll learn more as the story progresses. I'm stupid. I'm, no, I'm not. Yes. I'm joking. Oh, my God. Okay, Rain, your turn. I think you skipped Rain. over someone. Okay. No, you already introduced yourself, DM. Rain, your turn. <laughs> okay. I'm Rain. I'm going to be playing Brewer tomorrow. And finally, not least, some random guy we just picked off off the streets. What's your name again? Uh, Jeffrey now. <laughs> now it's Jeffrey. <laughs> uh, everyone can call me Vicky. What's your character's name? Actually, say it because I had to write down instead of writing down your nickname. <laughs> All right. Uh, my character's name is Ulanvik. He is a drow fighter or half drow fighter. Wait, are, I thought you were an elf. Drow are technically drow are elf. Like dark elves. Yeah. Oh. And then, ah. But it was. I'm a half that. Have you not read the story of Uth Mitzel Urn the Mitzel Berenzon? My character's dumb. He literally has pl negative two in wisdom. And I have a nice little cat that is pink and blue. Yeah, that's pretty. And that cat is totally gonna get Ren killed. Totally not. Uh, hmm. Referencing to another D and D storyline. Also, uh, also last thing, uh, though everyone else has their own familiars up there in this picture, uh, we're all 
technically missing something. I forgot to add it because I didn't think it was important. Uh, my character does have a horse named Fern. Depending on how much it plays importance to the storyline depends on the DM. Let's get started! All right, let me... <clears throat> There's a land called... Called Ala, but there are heroes. Heroes who have fought off darkness, killed demons, and saved the world. But this is not a tale of those heroes, but a tale of four abnormal idiots who might just make a difference. But then again, maybe not. We shall see. <laughs> and just so you know, yes, I worked hard to write that intro. I'm doing it every so second hard. now. Wow, I feel the love. So who, are you, so who are you starting off with, big man? All right. Give me a minute. All right, let's see. So since... Uh... By the way, this section will probably be three time, hours. I will be starting off with Sam Gusto. <clears throat> oh, wow. So A wagon runs down the road into a small town. And at the back of the wagon, unbeknownst to the host to the driver, was a small child just kicking his feet off the back, enjoying life as he, he can. Trying to avoid annoying people as best he, he can. And in his lap, a book filled with nothing. As the wagon comes in and stops in front of a tavern, as the driver talks to someone, this small child jumps off and walks into the tavern. The tavern's name? The Troubled Drake. I can hear Rain's Ferry him all the way from here. <laughs> Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> For guys who don't know, uh, um, we'll we'll probably go into more depth later down the line, but there's going to be a lot of inside jokes that we'll probably explain later down the line. Isn't it like supposed to be my familiar next to me as well? I'm oh so yeah, I forgot about the familiar, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> Two children travel in a wagon. <laughs> By the way, I'm buying oh you a better mic. Yeah, I need a better mic too. Uh, I guess you can summon the familiar later. Let's just say he's not with you at this moment in time. Well, he has to. I mean, or it won't make any let's sense. Just say, let's just say two children show up together, okay? okay Good. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Two children walk into a tavern called the Trouble Drake. And the then they go only... and sit up at the bar. bar. The one of Though the one out of the known as Sam Dusno has trouble getting up on his feet. Ryan Dusno has it. He's the younger. He probably helped out his uh, younger brother in the seat. Uh. Yeah. So while he struggles to get up on the seat, our second character pops up into the fray. And it is none other than our. Half orc bard, or Dale. Oh, Dale. Dale is happily walking into town, flirting with every young pretty woman he sees. And man, I don't discriminate. <laughs> and getting slapped by half of them, or getting punched in the face by half of them. Some Why women. am I getting punched? Have you actually heard me flirt with this a character? Very violent you're, town, apparently. <laughs> you're probably a lot more confused about my character's flirting than actually here. punching. Because <laughs> this is how my character Welcome flirts. The chaos. You know? <laughs> Excuse me there, ma'am, but I couldn't help to notice, but your arms are really, really strong. The there best thick... part is, all the ones he's getting punched and slapped by, I. They are couples. <laughs> my god! Oh god, my character's trying to be the third whale. <laughs> Is this because I frightened to steal your girlfriend? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop threatening as long as my character doesn't get slapped anymore because he's a sweet bean. 
So, after one couple will kick him, kick him in the knee, you take out her. <laughs> You're lucky I'm not taking away any HP, bruh. Why are you doing this to my character? He doesn't even flirt with every random person! He only flirts with strong people! Boy. Be nice. <laughs> I am being as nice as I possibly can, and they said uh -huh. they wanted it entertaining. Uh, well, they did say that. <laughs> but I can't help you guys out, I'm sorry. You guys did want entertainment. I know. But why? My character's not even that much of a flirt! He doesn't even flirt with everyone! So, he doesn't live by the normal bar tropes! My so character- well, after getting kicked in the knee, be really hard, by two lovely couples, well, he walks into the bathroom to trouble Drake, and then sees Sam just, you know, still struggling, getting up onto the seat. And decide yep. to help him out. I was about to say, can I roll to help out the character on the seat? And that's when our third member joins in. Oh god. Uvra like, Uvra and Vic like, joins the fray, walking into town, flying Just call Nikki. As all the girls start fainting at the sight of him, because he is so handsome. Is that so? <laughs> it's his voice, isn't it? <laughs> he doesn't notice <laughs> at all. He does not pay them any yeah. mind. Yeah, he's just walking nice. by, not giving any. I have my little nothing. bindle. He is a man on Oh, him. hey, how much money do we happen. start off with? Uh... Check, check, your d check your character sheet, and it should tell you. No, it's not. I don't have any money on here. No, no one told me to add it. Add some money yeah. up there. Uh, Your poor child adds 10 gold coins up there. No, no, he's not poor. Yeah, just, just add 10 gold coins for now, okay? Thank I'll you. give you, you more later, okay? Later. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. So where was that? Where was that? Oh, yes. Uh, he was walking past, lots of women fading at the sight of him. He walks into the tavern and walks over into a dark corner of the tavern and and being his handsome self. Oh, don't worry, guys. I'll introduce myself to this character soon enough. <laughs> now our final character. Brewer Erna walks into town. Uh, apparently notice all the fainted women in town and pay no mind and just walks into the tavern. I'm gonna pickpocket uh, all of them. Can I roll boom. to pickpocket all of them? <laughs> <laughs> Let the woman roll to pickpocket all of them, please! Who, including me? Yeah. Just give me a minute, I'm getting to the pickpocket thing. She walks into the tavern yelling, Give me booze! And spot <laughs> Dale and thinks to, her, thinks to himself, Perfect target. Okay, can my character, can I roll to help uh, put him, Sam, up on the bar seat? Yes. All also, right. please do not keep getting me punched by people like that. My character doesn't go around flirting with everyone. Please! My character- Don't worry. it was just for that intro. I hate Maybe. you. Okay, so what do I have to roll to help pick him up? Strength? Uh... He's a young child, huh? Yeah. Oh, hold on, how, how old is... Sam? Basically, Sam is like the significant of a four-year-old. I thought he was oh, six. He's just like a potato. Or six. So, no, he's six. six and his younger brother's four. Yeah, just so probably oh, from 50 no, 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 what's, no, we're talking about the familiar, aren't we? No, no, we're talking about, uh, we're talking about Sam, your character. Your oh, familiar's name's oh, Ryan. Oh, I mean, right. Damn, ding, Language, child. <laughs> yeah, just roll a D6. Your profanity. Roll a d6? No yeah. strength? Yeah, it doesn't take any strength. 
I'm setting it age. Oh shoot. Okay. Uh, give me a second. I, I I think my computer's having issues because I'm like using a uh, D and D Beyond. Do you want me to roll oh, for you? Give me a second. I can probably let me look for the dice I actually have up here. While she's doing that, can I pickpocket any passed out people? Ooh. Yes. Okay. Ooh. How, how many passed out people are there? Twenty for that, though. Oh yeah. Can I just stop and like watch her do it while I'm trying to get up on the stool and be like, "That is the coolest person ever." Uh, no. Got a twelve. Oh. All right, and then you have a plus in. What's the stealth going again? Wisdom. Um, dexterity. Dexterity. So you have a 16 in that. Okay. You said you rolled a 12. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. So you pickpocket a few people. However, a few of them weren't very drunk enough that you weren't able to pickpocket them at all. Oh, there you go. So you were okay. able to pick up like uh, one or two gold pieces. Okay. Uh, I got a pl him. I got a three in my roll, as well. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Uh, you are able to put pick him up and put him on the seat. I'm gonna start a conversation with this child. Okay. And with these two kids, here you go, little buddy. Where's your mom or pa? Are you here by yourself? Get the heck away from me before I stab you with my quarter staff. <laughs> my character <laughs> slowly backs away. I'm not trying to get into a fight, little buddy. I just want to know where your parents are at. I don't need any parents. I just have Ryan, and that's it. But if you try to touch him, I will beat you to a pulp. Calm down, man. Calm down. How about I buy you two a meal? Are you okay? Are you okay with that? Hmm. What do you think, Ryan? Please tell me, Ryan. Ryan. And grabs and grabs the quarter staff, ready to hit him upside the head. <laughs> Ryan's supposed to like my character. That was the joke we talked about earlier. Good job, <laughs> Ryan. My my brother has spoken. Get away now. <laughs> but Ryan doesn't know you yet. <laughs> That's true. Come on, little buddy. Come on. I'll buy you guys whatever you want. I might not have much, but I surely can buy you a good meal. Ryan. While this is going on, uh, can Ryan's I like. Ryan's stomach rumbles and looks at, at Sam and I'm with a hungry face. Fine. We'll take the meal. I'm guessing it's time for uh, the other person to jo to uh, to try to steal from me. Hey. So before I go and steal from anyone else, can I like reverse pickpocket? How do you do that? Give... <laughs> like instead of taking away from someone else's pocket, I put something in. Oh, okay. I love this. What do you put in? The gold that I picked off of the uh, other guys, just in case they wake up or anything. <laughs> Don't actually do that. Just keep your um, money. Trust me, they're uh, not gonna okay. notice. Uh, roll for her. Uh, I guess roll. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna reverse pickpocket the child. Which one? Oh, you. <laughs> There's two of us, so you gotta Wait, let me know. The you haven't pickpocketed child. me. You haven't pickpocketed me yet. You only pickpocketed the famous people. Yeah. Fine, I'll pickpocket you first. Oh no! <laughs> you just complained that I didn't. Wait. Okay, let's do this. Wait. Uh, while she rolls for pickpocketing, do I need to roll for perception? Can I also roll for perception to see if I see it? Because if I do see it, there's something hilarious I can say. It looks like how, 
how Vic is just watching this whole thing happen yeah. and doing nothing. I'm actually debating if I have, because a uh, little peek behind the curtain, <laughs> I have not good perception at all. <laughs> You're just I'm blind? I'm blind. <laughs> so I think he's like, huh, something weird's happening. Whatever. So I'm going to roll for There's perception. There's really weird blurry objects over there. What? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to roll for perception. God, I'm rolling for perception, am I? Okay, let's roll. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I got a 19! So I, I actually do see her do it. I haven't... I, I tried to roll with my uh, with my computer, and I realized that was a whole idea. Oh. Rain, what did so you I, get? I got I'm going ten. back. Wait, Rain got a what? A 10. Give me a second mm -hmm. to see if my character noticed this. I need to go to actions. Not actions, I need to go. I have my full scene set up, but I can't roll the dice on my computer for some odd reason. So I'm going to my, uh... Do you want me to just so roll for you? Phone. No, I can do this. I can do this. Trust me, I have a plus one in perception, so I need this. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, I didn't even check my... I should check my perception in case anything changed. Oh, no, I got a plus two in perception, so it would be 21. <laughs> yeah, give me stuff. It I'm should be in school. Okay, there we go. Uh, so perception, perception, plus one. I got a five. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Don't, don't forget, I have a plus nine in stealth, so it's actually nineteen that I have. Ooh. I have a plus. I have a five. So before anything happens, why I notice her doing like pickpocketing him. I just give her a thumbs up and just nod my head, encouraging it. Can my character at least somewhat notice okay. that they're pickpocketing? Can my character notice that they're pickpocketing since I got a five? Wait, no. I it's a five. You Can I at least get something? Noticed. Okay, you just barely notice as her hand and and is completely slipped in to your po gold pouch. I just know she touches pull me. Out. Hmm. No, I just noticed you're you touching me. You see Vicky across the room. Oh god! Ooh. I see Vicky across the room! <laughs> Hi, I mean. Vicky! Wave at Vicky! God, wave at Vicky. Oh god, give me a second. My computer is absolutely not wanting to work with me today. I'm hoping the recording's pretty good on my computer. Vicky is our new favorite character now. Vicky is the new favorite character. And we make a beautiful eye contact. <laughs> So, oh, God. so how uh, much so, do I get from pickpocketing Dill? How much do I lose? And I know she touches my butt. Or he touches my butt. Uh, you two stand and bear at each other, looking at each other for a minute. Okay, as, as that's happening, can I just wink at them? I almost just want to play the song long. Oh no, I can't that for this moment. For how long you two are like staring at each other for a moment. Prolonged eye contact. <laughs> excuse me, sir. Him. Excuse me there, sir, but uh, I'm flattered that you find me that attractive, but don't you think it's kind of inappropriate to touch another person's, um, well, you know, in public? Don't you think it's inappropriate to talk to children th that has no adults around them and offer them to buy food? Actually, I was about to call the I was actually about to ca call the guard soon after feeding you to see if we can find your parents. Vogue, <laughs> you want to go hang? <laughs> Come on, I'll buy you guys meals. Come on, you guys well, look like you're hungry. I'll give you ten gold if you can help get me and my brother out of this. I just whisper. Wait, whispering to my character or whispering to someone else? Whispering to your character. Okay. My character just looks at you, thinks for a second. Ten? That's all I got. I'm a money. child. That, that's a lot of money. I'll take one gold from you, kid. Just one gold. <coughs> and I'll help you out of this. And at that, and out of that, I, I just rest my elbow on Dill. And just look over at him. Wink. So how about the bedroom? 
you me right now. <laughs> My character blushes really wow. hard. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. My character is blushing. My character is just extremely blushing. I'm very, I'm very flattered, man. But uh, uh, we barely know each other. Uh, um. Let me buy you dinner first with these kids. Please have a seat. Everything's on me. Order whatever you guys like. Is that what he was trying to do with us? <laughs> Bartender? <laughs> Bard me! Bard maid! Please! As the bartender starts walking up, someone opens the door all covered in blood, screaming that the town is under attack. Again? <laughs> My character just sighs, gets up, <laughs> taps the kid on the shoulder. Hey, about that gold piece, before I go, can, can I just, like, get that? Yeah, here you go. I, I'm gonna... I going take to... it. Yeah. And I start heading out the door. <laughs> and I just run after saying, well, my appearance are waiting outside. Uh, bye! <laughs> and I just have Ryan's hand with me, and we're just running out the door. My character's like, oh shoot, my horse is outside and runs immediately. Wait, do I need to roll to run outside, like, dexterity to make sure my horse is okay? Oh, uh, fair. On session zero, the horse and familiars just die. <laughs> Don't! <laughs> this is going to be a defining moment. Does she need to roll to run? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you should see the last campaign. <laughs> She kept on trying to seduce the door in the last campaign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a 19. I got a 19. I have that from this campaign. I, I have, I've rolled a 19 in dexterity to save my horse. He ran out the door with no difficulty whatsoever. <laughs> uh, Vic, what are you doing at this moment? So I think he definitely noticed this. He's going to go up to the guy covered in blood. And say, what's going on? The tower is under attack. What's attacking Orcs, it? Rakes! Demons! We are doomed! Doomed! As he starts taking you. Uh, Orcs, drakes, and demons? Yes! Yes! We're all doomed! I, uh... Okay. <laughs> okay. Can, do I think I could take orc, drakes, and demons? <laughs> Is it actually that, or... I don't know. <laughs> but, like I, I said, I... not good at determining if things are lying to him. <laughs> I want to make a perception check. Same. Okay. While, while just My... listening in on this while I'm halfway out the door. I I'm going to go ahead and make the same thing. My Discord is crashing. Ooh. Ooh guys. Ooh, okay. Oh, I got a net 20! So what does uh, guys? Guys, what? Hey, if they are if they are attacking, you need to get everyone out of this village. And I just walk outside. Um, I rolled a sixteen, but I have a plus one in perception, so that. Oh, hey, lady. You good, lady? Oh, okay, I see. I see. I see. Yes, yeah, you're in. Uh, yes, you do have a plus in perception, and you said you got sixteen. Yeah, so now I have a 17 because of that plus one. Um, okay. uh, I, Ren, what did you get? Hold on, something's wrong with late. I lost something. I lost all of you guys for a second there. I had to leave the call. I'm very sorry for everyone who's watching my video. Can you guys re-explain what happened? So the town is under attack by supposedly orcs, dra yeah. drakes, and uh, demons. Okay. Possibly again. I'm trying to grill this dude for information. Okay. The funniness. It, 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 it's a casual thing that happens every week. <laughs> We're getting attacked! Shut up. It happens every week. By the way, um, so, by the way, uh, for the guys on my, who are watching my recording, uh, it might, for like, for like a minute, like for a solid minute, you probably should go to Ren's to see what happens. Cause like everything went glitchy cause I tried to open up, uh, Google on my computer so I can have my, uh, D&D Beyond sheet in front of me. Uh -oh. Cause I tried to roll up there and it wasn't working so I had to get rid of it. Uh, my computer's just having issues. Stalling song. Stalling song. This is a stalling song. 
Oh, uh, so, 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 uh, someone, uh, so, so someone's fully Kaya's... crashed on there, so... Mm -hmm. uh, Vicky has been... Wait, we're calling him Kyle now? I thought his name was Jeff. Okay, so Vicky has completely crashed. And he'll probably be back. Mm. This is going This is going to be a great first session. Session zero. Awesome. I love this. This is so much fun. All right. So what did you roll in? I rolled a nat 20. And you have a plus two, so you roll it. On a 22! Way to get high rolls on this, guys. You're, you're really making this interesting for me. Wait, wait, yeah. what, what What was he trying to do? I was rolling, just... I'm rolled for perception. Yep. And so far we got a 22 and a 17. So you, I'm guys, not wrong. Look, you guys look outside and you see outside of the town uh, a drake or two just waiting around, doing nothing. And in town, you see a lot of orcs fighting up off the town guards. Guards. And you see a demon uh, leading the charge. Hmm. Uh, the drakes are just doing nothing. They're thing, basically. So you don't have to worry about the drakes. And huh. they're from it, what it looks like. All right, I'm back. Can er can everyone hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. We were going through my perception, which is 22. I need to get a new computer because <laughs> I can't I can't have D and D be on on my stream Discord and OBS. Uh, my character, since my characters already know what's going on and is with his horse. <laughs> Can my character try to find any civilians that are hurt hurt to try to heal them? Uh, sorry, roll for perception. Yeah, I should probably roll for perception, you're right. Okay. I love how I'm just doing all this on my phone now, because, like, I can't use any- I can't look at the actual thing. Perception, plus one. Yes, I got a nine. A so you rolled a ten. Uh... No, I just got a nine. Yeah, but you have a plus one in perception. But I already I already add the plus one. Oh, you already. So yeah. you rolled an eight. Yeah. That's what you need to tell me. Okay. Eight. I'm uh, just gonna tell you I have a nine. Because I always add the things for you. Aww. So, you look around. At the moment, you don't see anybody hurt, any civilians hurt. You just see a bunch of people uh, fleeing. However, you do see the town guards struggling to hold off these orcs. Keep in mind, there is that one town guard that is probably going to kill over soon. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just going to stand by and wait for him to die so I can, like, take whatever he has. <laughs> wait, my character realizes that, goes inside, opens his only b bought him bottle of healing potion, and give him and force feeds it to the town guard to heal them. How effective is it? Do I need to roll for that effectiveness? Uh, sir. What? Yes. Should I go for me medicine? Mm. Yes. Uh, if it's yeah. a healing potion, I would say probably dexterity because uh, of that. Depends iron. On what I already got ten, and I already is. got ten there, but okay. Dexterity. Oh, I got thirteen. Lee. Wow. I got 13. Okay. So, so it's... you feel uh, supposedly the weakest town guard herds guy in the area, uh, and he says thanks, and he goes back to fighting orcs and manages to, like, kill two. I'm gonna go Real over there and pick up then. Zero trouble, apparently. Yay, um... great healing potion. I need to get more. I would like Vicky goes outside now. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's gonna survey the area. What's going on? So as Vic finally uh, steps outside, the four of you are are approached by four orcs ready to fight and manage to get past the line of town guards, or it's holding off the rest at bay. So, so it's just me and Vic being surrounded at the moment, right? 
but the forward... uh, Dale, Dale and uh, Sam are in the area, are are with you. You. We're still okay. we're technically we're in the all... outside the barn. We're yeah, the outside are... of the. So we're all so... surrounded then. Yes. Okay. Uh, if I just casually look at your guys' characters, uh, do they look? Do they have weapons on them and look like they can fight? My characters, um, my character is the healer, dude. <laughs> do you have a weapon on you? <laughs> I have a dagger, but he's more of a pacifist. <laughs> I just, uh, Vicky looks and goes, protect the children, and uh, is gonna charge at one of the orcs, or I guess two of the orcs. Okay, okay. Roll wait, wait. for who's going in what order? That would be initiative, my man. Yeah. Uh, so what are we rolling then? So initiative That's is just what... your dexterity modifier. Oh no, no, I mean what die? D twenty. Yeah, okay. D twenty. Let's go. I got a thirteen. Okay. I got a twelve. My character's just looking at all of you and like, why aren't they running? Uh, I got a four, so that charge is going to be a little bit more of a. I stepped on something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What'd you roll, Ren? Oh, I didn't know I was rolling. What was going on? I, I, I all I know was... Wait, we're rolling for what? I'm sorry. Initiative. 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 Okay. Is my is my horse Fern next, where's my... next to us as well? Wait, where's my initiative? Uh, the horse is just eating an apple. It's the next to us, fine. though. Yes. Okay, I have an idea now. Zero attention. Okay, I have an idea now. I know what my character is going to do now. I rolled a one. Okay, yeah. Uh, so first, uh, the road goes first, then me, then uh, the voice, then uh, <laughs> then the child. Let's go. So you rolled a one, Rin? Yes. For initiative. Oh, wait. Oh, I got a plus two in initiative. So, oh wow. So that means I got a three. That's still lower than the four. <sighs> well, I will. I click the initiative thing on here, on here, on the, um, the the D and D Beyond, and it rolled me a nat twenty. That wait, gave wait, me a twenty two. Yes, it is right here on the screen next to armor class. Dude, for, uh... no, no, I'm on my phone, dude. I'm on my phone. Yeah, it says initiative. initiative. <laughs> wait, wait, what's which one's initiative? Can someone tell me what how to how to read it? Because I can't read. Hmm. I actually rolled a sixteen in that case. Wait, so where's initiative? It's right beside the armor. The, the no. Sign. No, no, it's in skills. No, it's no. Uh, you're you're looking at D and D Beyond, correct? Yes, I'm looking at it on my it? phone though. Okay, so that would be just find your dexterity, which I don't know what your dexterity is, and then since you have jack of all trades, bump that up by whatever that would give you. But I don't I'm know. So... so we got a sixteen. A three, a four. You know, I'm just call me twelve. I'm just gonna say I have a twelve. I have to learn how to reuse this on my phone because I can't do it on a computer. Okay. Fun gay. So, Rain, go first. By the way, call us our character names. Oh right. <laughs> Hang on. Let me. I got. It's gonna be a while before I remember all your names. Uh, That's fine. Ruti. Brua, you go first. They just look at the situation, sigh as they take both of their knives out, and I'm going to throw one knife at the closest orc in front of me. Okay. Roll for it. Punch. <sighs> What do you get? A one. Oof. They rolled a two, surprisingly. Oof. <laughs> so, uh, I, I guess roll for damage? 
Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's not going to be a lot of damage, but... Six. Uh... Wait, is it a d20 for damage, or is it, uh, like a d10? Uh, just d20. Okay, then I got a six. Okay. So, you threw the dagger at the orc. Yes. And it landed right in front of him. Cool. <laughs> My character, you roll damage then! <laughs> Did you add anything to the orc that looks thing? at you with this confused... ...whose who's look. It is surprisingly hurting himself mentally. <laughs> Trying to figure out how terrible a throw that was. <laughs> From someone oh. someone well built. So at 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 this thing, everyone just sees my character have a moment of just oh my god. Oh my god, and then just poker faces. <laughs> um. Uh is it my character's turn? Yes. Okay, my character, uh, since he's since he's in charge of protecting the kids, he immediately grabs both kids, hops on his horse fern, and uh and tries to run away from the orcs on his horse to get the kids to somewhere safe. Are you kidding me? Put me down, you oversized meathead <laughs> My character looks like a female. He's uh, a big roll. boy. What do I have to roll for this? This will all be funny. Just a D20. Two folk reject. Just the grab, Sam. I got a seven. Okay, uh, Sam. Yes. Down to roll to be avoided. Roll, avoided grip. Wait. I roll for what? Counter roll. Counter roll. Uh, what Oof. what dice do I roll for Counter that? Night. D twenty. D twenty. Oh wait, yeah. wait, that's the wrong dice. What? Oh no, not again. What? Not again. Is she okay? Hello? Is he ever okay? Uh, she's gone. I rolled an 18. You rolled an 18? Yes. Okay. Lady, maybe you shouldn't stream, because it's probably causing issues. Probably is. I don't know why it's causing issues. I've never had these issues before. I mean, I think it's because my <laughs> maybe you should okay. stop the stream and just start recording. So Will you hand me the recording later tonight, then? Yeah, sure. I got you. Okay, thanks. No problem. Well, I guess this isn't for my stream. So, uh, so what did I miss? Uh, what did he roll? He I rolled. Yeah. So as you run up to try and grab and pick him up, he jumps back and back and him and uh, Ryan, his familiar, her, Ryan. His, He's a child. Leg, his name's Ryan. Yes, him and Ryan kick your legs, causing you to land flat first on your face. Ow! How much damage should I take from that? Uh, red and roll. I mean, Sam, roll for damage. What am I rolling? This d20. D20? No, no, if I have to roll something smaller for damage. Yeah, you do. It's... Yeah. yeah. So, if this, this would technically be an unarmed strike. So, there would, would be. No, that, so that would, would be, be a different. It would just be your strength. Oh, so it would be my strength. Uh... Yeah, you go straight strength. Okay, let me get my. modifier is. Okay, I'll roll. Oh, my modifier is 10. For strength? So that, that would be a plus oh, wait. zero. So oh, it's a plus zero. Damage, if anything. Wait, I thought we had like a roll of smaller number for like, uh, for, uh, for attacks or something like that for like damage. Uh, that is if it gets if like you... a d20, I'm dead. Or like an 18. So you roll a d20 for your two, like your two hit, but a certain, whatever your weapon you're fighting with has its own, you know this much. Um, so like your staff is a D8 or a D10, depending on how you use it. But for mm. unarmed strikes, unless you specifically have a feat that ups it, mm -hmm. uh, or like a character class option, there's not there. You don't have a dice. It's just whatever your strength is. It's one plus your strength modifier. 
So if you have a 10 ability score, that would be one plus zero. So you just have, you just deal one point of damage. Oh, okay. Sorry, I don't mean to like mansplain. No, you're fine. Oh, no, no, that's fine. No, this is actually really great. Like, we're all pretty much noobs. For like those who are listening to Ren's uh, things, we're all pretty much noobs. Uh, okay, I've been playing for six years. <laughs> oh, wow. That's why we have yeah. nice boys, because so he's our mate. During our last campaign, uh, Ren actually killed his familiar within five seconds of having it, and we had to revive it. Just because I unhinged my jaw to consume. A bunch of food does not mean nothing. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Famili- the good thing about familiars is you can magic them back. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's continue. Uh, my character after falling down on the ground. I'm trying to get you out of here to safety. We can do that ourselves. Come on, Ryan. <laughs> and we just me. I grab Ryan's hand and we just start running, um, like in the opposite direction, trying to get to like the forest or something. Okay, uh, Vic, your turn. Uh, I don't know, I'm just going to apologize. My Discord is acting up so badly. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Do you want okay. to try to... Your fault. Do you so... want to try to do it on your phone? No, I'm going to sound terrible if I do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, we can tell by the DM. Uh, Vicky, how many are just... Hello? Oh. Where'd he go? I think he crashed. Oh. Oh. He left me? Okay. No. <laughs> he had the best voice out of all of us. Very smooth. Very nice. Definitely gonna be a fan okay, favorite. I'm doing it on my phone. Oh. Oh, it's not too bad on the phone. Um, un- at least until Discord pops back up on my computer. So how okay. many orcs am I looking at here? You're looking at four orcs. Uh, I'm going to tell my cat to run after the children so they can keep an eye on him. Okay. Um, and I'm going to start attacking orcs. Okay, roll. Or, uh... I'll run up to whatever orc is closest to me and I'm going to take out my longsword and attack him. Okay. Roll for that. I just realized something. A bunch of people are fighting orcs. I'm a half-orc. Yeah, are you having, like, a <laughs> curse of conscience right now? <laughs> you could try and attempt talking to them. Alright, I got a 13 to hit. Ooh. Okay, so to roll for the orc rolled a, uh, a 6. So roll for damage. So now I have this back on my computer, so this is good. Uh, that is 11 points of damage. 11, huh? Alright, let me see what I can do here. So, 11. Minute here. Hello? Give me a minute. Hello? Okay, I thought my I thought it crashed again. Armor's gone now. So, have you guys heard about the game recently? The what this game? Oh yes, I've heard. I lost the game. So the orc took six points of it. I points of damage. I didn't understand what game we're talking about. I lost the game. I hope the audience hates me. <laughs> <laughs> there Look is no game. <laughs> so the orc uh, in question took six points of damage, and his armor took a little bit of damage too. Alright. Uh, I have another attack. I'm going to swing at him again. Okay. That is a 14 to hit. Alright, let me count to roll. Oh wow, he rolled a 14 too? Uh, so you swing at the orc again, but he's able to block it this time. 
All right, sweet. I'm going to action surge. Uh, okay. That's going to give me two more hits. I'm going to swing two more times. Okay. All right, that's a 17 to hit. Uh, 16, so... Do you, you swing again, and you are blocks it hits and stumbles a bit. Just a bit a small bit. And, and, uh, I I now realize why half the town was attacking me when I walked in. <laughs> uh, so do I get damage on him? No, no damage. He blocked the attack this time. And okay, so I get one more hit on him. Yep. That's an eighteen to hit. Okay, uh, he rolled a nine, uh, roll for damage. That is six more damage. So you rolled a six? Uh, I rolled a two plus four is six. Okay. Okay, so. I'm half orc. They're constantly being attacked by orcs. No wonder every couple was trying to kick my butt when I came into town. So the orc took three points of damage. No yawning on this. No yawning on this. Mm. All the reason Ooh. why we we're, we're streaming this at midnight while we're recording this at midnight. All right. Bam, your turn. Uh, give me just a moment, please. Because I'm going to uh, see if there's a bonus action I'm going to do. Uh -oh. Ooh, I love this. Yeah, I found out that I have a bonus action. But I'll use that in my next round. Since no, I, I do not. So, go ahead. Oh, okay, I can go? Oh, yay! Um, okay. So as you're running tor towards the forest, for forest your orc stops and up, up in front of you and I mean, you, where do you think you're going? Uh, I class flame. I cast flaming spear. All right. Uh, let's see. Flaming spear. Flaming spear. Flaming spear. That's warrior magic. Yep. All right. Roll. All right. What am I rolling? D twenty. Yes. I'm ready. I got an eight. York rolled a 19. Oh no! The baby! Wait, is there anything that can boost it? Uh. Did you already add your modifiers? Add my what? Your modifiers? Where are my modifiers? Uh, since this was a magic attack, would it go in intelligence or wisdom? Uh, whatever his uh, magic. Whatever his match. So, what uh, class are you? He is a withered bard. Okay, so if this is going off of your wizard spell list, it would be your intelligence plus proficiency, and that would be what you add to it. If this is from your bard class, this would be your charisma plus proficiency. So, it would be wizard if it's. It should wizard. tell you. Can you tell me again with the wizard part? I'm dumb. Some... Okay, uh, it, yeah, it's fine if you've... I can just tell you guys haven't played a whole lot. Uh, it's <laughs> fine. I, I'm happy to teach you guys. Yay! Um, Yay! We're learning! I'm actually typing up stuff in the chat. Oh, wait! Right it says I'm... my... Oh, wait! It says my modifier right here. It... It, it should say it somewhere. It says it right here. I found it. Okay, so my spell yeah. attack, my save dice, and my modifier. My modifiers is... Negative two and net and plus three, so that means is a one. Uh, preferably, you're attacking with your charisma. <laughs> if this is a bard spell. Oh. Uh... I don't know if it's a bard spell. I don't know if it's a wizard spell. That's something you are going to have to determine. But that is going to be depending on what. Oh, so if um... it's a spell attack, then so. Yeah, whatever your spell, whatever it says, you're for your spell attack. Oh, so it's plus one, plus six. So, that's seven together. Well, again, I know if it's a like wizard, if it's your wizard spell, it would be plus one. If you're using it as a bard spell, it would be plus 
six. They don't stack like that, unfortunately. Uh, I know next week's picture is going to be uh, the I am, I am Vicky teaching a classroom how to play D and D. I'm I'm just gonna tell you guys right now what I'm typing in chat. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to play D and D. Yay! <laughs> fine. fine if you guys want to play <laughs> it this way. <laughs> that is super fine. Either. Now I'm not gonna. Totally is, get everybody killed. That is super fine if this is how you guys want to play. Very different from how I play. <laughs> we're totally not gonna have a. We're just completely have a crow's news. neck and it turn into a crow into a cat incident again. No yeah, more we're just. Thing I'm cringing on is you don't counter roll to see if someone hits you. Everyone has an armor class uh, roll. If you roll above that armor class, you hit automatically. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, mine only, is a lot. The only people who can, who can kind of lower that damage is that either a spell or a barbarian, <laughs> which I don't think anyone here is a barbarian, so it shouldn't actually, matter. I actually think this is really good because uh, as we're learning along from you, we're actually letting the we're actually teaching the audience as well. So right, I think cool. this is actually really good to do this as well while we're playing. So uh, I forget what your kid's name is, uh, Sam. Yeah. Yes. So Sam, you said you rolled an eleven, or you got an eleven plus. I I rolled an eight. You rolled an eight plus your spell stuff. Yeah, my spell attack says plus one plus six. All right, so we're just gonna assume it's plus six. Uh, so eight plus six. I don't I don't know math. It's Three, a fourteen. Eight plus six is fourteen. So if the orc has an armor class of 14, which, again, I don't know, and the DM can change this on a whim if he decides to, uh, so you would just hit, and then you roll damage. There, Unless there you is a saving throw. Uh, 13, so. so you would hit. Oh, then I can and roll. roll and roll a uh, 19. Then I can roll for the damage. Let's go! And what does he use to roll for damage? Oh, I just clicked the thing and it already rolls for me. Yeah, it should just okay. do it for him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's a three. A three? Yes, it's a three. Okay. So. Don't laugh at me. Your spell, and the orc himself doesn't take any damage. But oh. his armor does. Oh. Yay. New York looks at you and laughs. <laughs> you call that an attack? <laughs> well, it's better than the armor you're wearing. It looks like my mother made it. New York looks at you. I'm gonna turn you into a human. Hold on. Hold on. Where are you trying to use vicious mockery? he reaches out to try and grab you. <laughs> Should we go back to our group now for uh him for um I'm going I cannot say your character's name, my dear friend. My dear Rain. Uh what's your character's name again? Wait, Rua thought... Tamara. Rua. Mara? What? Yeah, Rua. Brua. So, so Brua should we go for... Let's go back to you. <laughs> okay. Can I like is Sam and Ryan still like within eyesight of me? Yes. Okay. In that case, I'm going to take my other dagger that is still in my hand, throw it at that orc to get his attention. Okay. Uh, roll for that. A 13. What, what would that be? Like strength or. Uh, I'm sorry, what are you doing? He's I'm throwing a dagger. A dagger. You are throwing a dagger would be dexterity. Have to have dexterity. Mm. Be dexterity, and I'm assuming you have proficient with you're proficient with it, so it's dexterity plus your proficiency. Hmm. Hmm. So that is sixteen then. The sixteen. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, roll for damage. I'm gonna put two. some socks on. A two. Okay. It's at least enough to get him to notice me, at least. Has to be. 
No, so, you would throw the dagger, and the dagger cuts right into the orc hand, causing him to weep a bit in the face. Go through that, and uh, he says it aloud. Road. At that point, I just wave before using my bonus action to reti retrieve my other dagger. So I'm assuming that I have to make a uh, acrobatics check to avoid the other orc. Um. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Acrobatics. Ooh. Nine plus six. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Okay. So, you do a backflip. Yep. Yep, all the way to your dagger. And you pick it up, and the orc in front of you looks like... <laughs> What are you gonna do with that dirty dagger and such a one? <laughs> Still laughing from the fro from earlier, not seeing the first fro. The other fro from your other dagger. Dagger. That's all I have for my bonus action, so. Okay. Uh, my character uh, gets up and wipes the dirt off his face. And uh, before I actually do any spells or anything like that, I want to, um, him, my character sp says out, Why are you attacking this place? Him, <clears throat> why are you just attacking this place? This town has done nothing to you. The strongest of the orcs, or supposedly, he looks at you and says, We were ordered to by our master. Who's so your master? My character says out again before doing anything. Who's your ma- Him! I have to give my character's voice. Him. Pardon me if I ask, but who is your master? Who would ask for such cruelty? Don't be nice to the orcs. <laughs> v says this. <laughs> Don't be nice to them. Just, he's just like a troubled shall not be spoken. He's just a troubled However, uncle. You should know that he will again run from the acid. And bring hellfire to this wretched world. Uh, let me look at my spells, because I know I have a few. I don't know why they're not up here in spells, because I definitely know I put some spells up there. But yeah, Vic is definitely the character that is eventually going to have to be like the parental figure of all of us. And just having Sai going, don't eat glass. <laughs> Don't eat glass. But it's sugar uh, glass. My, I think my I like character him. thinks I'm not having to be the responsible one in the party anymore. <laughs> God. My character takes out his ukulele. Uh, let me see what... what spells I have real quick. I'm trying to find where my spells are. Oh, there it is. Spell casting, you know, spells using... Uh... I gotta figure out which ones are my spells because I had spells set up. I really did. But I don't know where any of them are at. Because you saw me when we sat down for the whole entire scene where I had to pick through all my spells. Uh, yeah. I remember that. And I don't know where any of them are at. Which is pissing me off. This is really uh, is making me angry. You're a bard, right? <laughs> yes. What do you want to do? I want to I want to find some way to like give you guys more power or something like that to the people who are fighting. So you want to give us inspiration. Yeah, that bard inspiration. Bardic inspiration. Bard inspiration. Okay. So uh, I roll wait, I a D eight. I... Uh yeah. There's two different ways you can do it. It always changes person to person. If you want to roll that die and give it to someone, that's fine. But uh, what I do, again, it's different for everyone. Depends on how you want to do it. Uh, what I do is I just give them a dice. But then again, I also play in person. And then mm -hmm. they roll it. Uh, but if you want to roll it now, be like, okay, uh, Sam, you can go ahead and add a, I don't know, roll whatever dice you have. 
go ahead and add a plus five to your next roll or something like that. Just depends on how you want to do it. So I'm going to roll an eight die and where's my eight die? There's my die. Roll. So what am I rolling? I got a plus five and I'm going to give it to Vicky. All right. I play my I play my uke to give you inspiration. They give you five extra points so you can keep battling on. All right. I need to sell my sister's uke so I can actually play the ukulele. All right. Here's Luke noises. Luke, Luke, Luke. All right. Vic, it is now your go. You have right. plus five extra uh, points. I want to look at the... The, um the orc who just said those words um and i just want to grapple him i want to humiliate him in front of his orc friends okay which uh i might be taking opportunity attacks i hope not but i am just going to run up and grapple him get put his face right in the dirt which i believe is just opposed straight strength checks It is not looking good for this week. Ooh, I got Go out and roll for, for that, I suppose. Yes. And I think, well, no, that's technically my action. No, no. Could I intimidate for free? <laughs> uh, roll for intimidation, I suppose. Yes. No. <laughs> Uh, that's, uh, a natural one, which is a critical failure. Uh, but that is a two. I have a plus one. So that's a two. I rolled a two. So you run up to this orc. You try to grab him, but fail miserably. Now, hold on. I got a seven. I got a 17 to grapple. (laughs) I was pretty good at that part. I'm just not as scary as I thought I was. <laughs> okay, so you grab him, but you can't, like, pull him down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. His, his face into the ground, and he's like, um... And then he... He swings at you. Okay. With his axe. What do you do? Uh, oh, roll to counter it, I suppose. Yeah, that is something I could do, I guess. Uh, what do you want me to roll to do that with? I say, I'll say just roll a d20. Just roll a d20? Just flat d20? Yeah. Alright. Well, do you want me to add anything to it? Well, just... you did get a plus five. I from a uh, fail. Uh, that is true. I'm not gonna use it because I got pretty good. I rolled an 18. Okay. So I'm gonna so save that plus five. Wings for a while. at you, but you were a able to uh, jump back and miss, and he was able and he missed. Yes. Okay. So I found out how I can learn. To... I finally found out how to learn spells, so I added two spells to my sing right now. There are only one spells. Uh, DM, after we're done with this, you're going to go with me to help me learn more spells and figure out how many I can have. I can okay. have eight. So, Sam, it is now your move. Alright, what am I rolling? Are you still going to try to run through the forest? Are you going to Oh, to oh I thought we were doing a group thing. Oh, I mean, let's see. Mm, I'm probably just going to talk to him. I I I, I know. I'm going to use charm person. Oh. Oh, oh boy. There's a charm reason. Person. All right, you ready? Okay. I'm going to roll my 20. I rolled an 11. An 11? Yeah. And my modifier is 
Was it six, right? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Seems like it. Mm. All right, so huh, I'm a, this is what I'm going to say. Okay, I'm just trying to get me and my brother to the forest away from safety. Away from that guy who <laughs> apparently is trying to buy us food. And that was trying to hook up with a rogue. Rogue. We're just low kids that just want to leave. I won't shoot another fireball at you as long as you help us. And if you want, I'll give you five gold pieces. The orc looks at you. Sorry, little man. I'm afraid I can't do that. I would like to help you, but I can't. Can you kill everyone in this town, and I cannot go against my order. Can I at least I see? I threw a dagger in his hand. However, I will do you this favor. I will tie you up, so you can't do anything. Mm. But well, you are going to die last. So wow. Uh, this guy's trying to touch me. <laughs> No, no, don't touch me. This is my no, no scream. That's what my character just my screams can't... out for the rest of the party to hear. My... my character looks at him with anger in his eyes, puts down his uke, and cracks his knuckles. Oh, damn. Okay, so, so far. The tally so far. Two orcs at full HP, one orc with six HP, and one uh, an orc with thirteen HP. Okay, because so I can actually play with hands. Who has turn? Which one has his dag? Which one has my dagger in his hand? Uh, the one, on with thirteen HP. Okay, is he the still one over by Rin's character? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna ignore the guy who I assume is like a foot away from me and run over to him while throwing my other dagger. Okay, roll for that. What would Ooh. that be? Dexterity? Again? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think, I think so, yeah. Playing a child character is fun. Clearly. Yes. Yeah. 21 They're... counting my modifier. 21? Yes. Yes. You're welcome. Uh, okay, uh, roll for damage. Roll what? Roll for damage. Oof. Another two. Why? Oh. By the way, you're starting to sound like a robot. <laughs> Please tell me about the woman who thinks yeah, he sounds like a robot. Like in a solo cup right now. I'm in love Red with a solo, solo cup. cup. I fill you up. Let's have a party. Uh, you know what? Since the orc rolled a one, apparently, I'm just going to say you want to crit on the guy who did like four damage over. My character. Because <laughs> my character, I just pluck out my daggers. You run up to the orc and you throw your dagger at the orc, and you hit the orc in the shoulder, dealing four points of damage. So, Phoenix was. So Phoenix was a robot all along. Apparently, I never knew. Wow. Uh, uh, Phoenix, do you want me to move you real quick to see if that helps? Uh, try disconnecting and reconnecting. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Okay, uh, it's my turn. Oh, my turn. No, it's a big turn. No, wait, yeah, it is your turn. 
<laughs> okay, my character, after hearing someone's trying to touch a child, the only thing that can ever make him violent. Uh, he's five feet away from me, right? Um, about four feet, but yeah. Okay, this is good. Uh, I'm going to punch him in the face! What do I roll uh, okay, for that? Okay, roll for... Roll, first of all. Because I, I have plus four hit damage. Shoot, I got... I got a ten adding the hit damage. The hit. I got a ten. Okay, so this guy rolled a six. So I guess roll for damage? Yeah, I uh, guess I roll for damage now. I got a two. Yay, two un undefined. Yay. Wait. How do I run for damage? Because I have like two undefined. My dear friend, so, how do I... Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I'm hitting the guy with my fist. You're just punching him? Yay. Uh, that is one plus your strength damage. Because you're but a lord, have... right? Yeah, but I'm also half orc. That honestly doesn't really mean much. Uh, yeah. In terms of damage, the only thing a half orc will really give you is the savage attacker uh, uh, race feature, which if you roll a critical, which is a natural twenty, you can add oh. one more. You can add one more damage die. I have pl I have like two in damage. So uh, with my fist and two in damage. Oh wait, I have two in damage, and then I add plus one for strength. Of course, this is something if the so DM wants to So, that would make it a three. Yeah. If the DM wants to give you a damage die for fists for unarmed damage, that is something he can totally do. I don't want to I have... limit anything. Oh, no, okay. that's... I'm just <laughs> saying the rules as I know them. Fine. So, if my damage is two, I can add plus two and strength, because on... Unarmed strikes would be uh, I have two for damage. Yeah. So, Am I right? Yeah. Yay! So, I punch him and get three points out. Can I punch him in the face? So you run up to the orc and you punch him. Um, you weren't able to punch him in the face, but you were uh, able to punch him, like, like, above the. Of the chest area, to some extent. You and mean like, did... like the neck, like just no, below the have... neck and, and just above the chest, like right. Oh, oh I can't just punch... collarbone. Like yeah, just like yeah, can I, the can collarbone. I just punch... Okay. And then I did three points of damage in my rage. Don't uh, armor... punch, shoot, did... don't. Oh, no. Oh. His armor did take one point of damage, and he did himself take two points of damage. Don't touch children, you sick! <clears throat> Don't touch children, you sick freak! All right, uh, Vic's turn. Uh, okay. The most interesting out of all of you. Yes. I hate you. Thanks. <laughs> You should love me. Hey, I'm a child. I'm They're all good. <laughs> Everyone just has their uh, personality. <laughs> that's that's the most we can say. <laughs> I, I'm the guy who hits stuff. I, I This is where I shine. <laughs> Speaking of shining, I'm going to cast Green Flame Blade. Ooh, yes. You brandish, the, we you brandish the weapon using the spell's casting, blah, blah, blah. I need, I need like a melee attack. All right, I'm gonna hit this guy in front of me. Hmm. So wise. Oh, and that is a natural twenty, which wow. is the best thing oh. you can roll. All right, roll for damage then. Uh, so with, hold on, because I don't play this all that often. Let me actually read the spell. All right. Um. Okay. So you're aiming for the orc that swung at you earlier, correct? Uh, yeah, just the one directly in front of me. Okay. So he rolled a nat 20. So that's... I believe that's 10 damage 
just for my sword's base. Uh, and then... He's going to take an extra D8 for the spell. So that's 13 damage. And the fun thing about Green Flame Blade is that on a hit, the target suffers the weapon's normal effects, and you can cause green fire to leap from the target to a different creature of my choice oh. within five feet of me. Oh. So uh, I want to look around. What, in my opinion, opinion would be the best orc to hit with fire <laughs> so just give me orc... a just give me a quick general layout so you got what the closest orc to you would be the one that was laughing at a brua's knife throw from earlier okay he's gonna get fire on him <laughs> perfect uh at fifth level the melee attack does extra 1d8 which i just rolled the fire Thank damage to the second creatures increases to 1d8 plus spell casting. Thank so... you for uh, avenging my failed attack. <laughs> uh, always, always. Uh, so that's going to be nine, nine fire damage to that guy. Ooh. So 13 damage to the guy I just hit. Some real damage here. Yeah, this is what I do. This is what I do. I'm not good at anything else. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, we bring the you personality. Just nice you just him. Yeah. You yeah. just you just keep us safe. We bring the, the personality. You just keep us safe. I'm the muscle to back you guys up. Uh, so thirteen damage to the guy directly in front of me, and then right. what I say like nine damage to the other guy. Yes. So you strike. I got with your whip, and he goes flying backwards, completely shattering his armor. And he takes 13 points of damage at the same time. Time. And as and... you... And as the strike hits, sending him flying back, the flames from your weapons fly across the field and start... and went under the other orc's armor, starting to burn, burn him alive as he takes 9 points of damage. So let me do a little math here. And for those of you who don't know, since I guess I'm teaching everyone today, including mm -hmm. the people at home, yep. um, attacks and spells are different in the sense that I can do two attacks per turn, but a spell attack does not count towards that. So that still counts as its own separate action. So like I can't. So like that's really cool. I just did all that damage, but I can't do anything else this turn. Not really. You know what, uh, Vicky? Uh, are you gonna stay up a little bit after we're done? Because I might have you help me choose for my spells. Oh, I'm gonna talk with all of y'all. <laughs> please, please. I am not getting grounded. Uh, with um, first of all, um, what's your name, Dill? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to learn. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now a great. A great and personal favorite spell for a bard, Dissonant Whispers. <laughs> I want to know. I already, I already picked out uh, free. I can have up to eight spells. I've already picked out free that I'm planning to use uh, to help out my character. Especially if you want to Healing deal word, damage. Animal friendship and tugs. Oh, that'd be good, actually. I'm going to try to make ha half of them better for... I at least need free damage dealing spells. I and would, the rest are probably healing. I would do Dissonant Whispers. Dissonant Whispers is a nice one. I'm going to add it right now. All right. So next up is uh, Thea. Yep. So my character, after seeing all this mess go down, and like, oh, wow, this could be very useful in the future to stay around him. Hmm. Anywho, he grabs Ryan's hand. And tries to book it towards the orc. Deal. They're thinking, well, better to deal with this guy than others. Okay. So, yep. And Meanwhile, my character watches this after 
trying to take down another orc that was about to attack him. I was like, what the heck, man? <laughs> Looks at Vicky. Yeah, you are basically irrelevant and the only person who's actually worth anything is apparently Vic. Thanks. <laughs> Hopefully I'll become a better healer for later online when we need hills. Um, Perula, what's your class again? I'm a rogue. You're a rogue. Um, okay. So, have you... What subclass of rogue are you? I think I'm just a thief. Thief? Okay. I'm about to make sure you're doing the best you can do. Ooh. Because you've been adding sneak attack, right? No, because I should have against the one that was fighting Sam. But the other guys knew that we were there. Okay. Let me check the rules on that, and I'll tell you what you can do. Okay. Again, I don't want to, like... I don't know. I just feel really weird about having to <laughs> tell people things. So if there's ever a point I'm like overstepping, just tell me. Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, you're Trust doing, me. you're helping us out a bunch because I have little idea on what I'm doing. So okay, we have an expert. Yeah, we might be doing I'm a one shot sure. very soon, so I can make sure everyone. Yes. At this point, yeah. we might as well start doing a fight. I hate off things that I. Right off thing called D and D classroom of idiots. Yeah, actually, this might be good. <laughs> Death night, I'd Uber. <laughs> well, this is actually really lovely, and it's great having him explain stuff to us as well. Because like, all of us are pretty much noobs. I think I'm the only one who's actually been someone in a professional in a more professional D and D game, and that only lasts two sessions. Oof. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. Where was he in our last D and D campaign? By the way. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Brula, how close are you to me? Uh, DM. I, I'm assuming like. I I imagine we're all very close to one another. I'm assuming like six feet because I moved away to save Sam. So we're gonna we're gonna well no that's the DM to call. But if you attack so here's the thing about being a rogue. If you attack someone and your target is close to an ally of yours, you can add your sneak attack. Oh. So you should be you should have when you threw that dagger, you probably should have done one D four plus three D six. Okay. So I think that's for now. That was a lost cause sort of thing. We don't have to go back and wreck on anything. Mm -hmm. But okay. going forward, just know that's how you do sneak attack. You don't. You and you also get sneak attack when you have advantage on it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stop teaching teaching right now, and then we can do that uh, later. All right. So What's I'm it? guessing. Since Sam is running to Vic, you're going to skip your attack? Uh, actually, I got an idea. I'm not going to skip my attack. I'm going to do this. I'm, I actually am going to cast Minor Illusion, because I have something hilarious to do. Uh-oh. Yeah, don't worry, it's not bad. But it will buy every one time. Um, so I'm going to roll my dice. Um, it's an eight. Basically, what my goal was to... My illusion was going to be all of their mothers, like, right there telling them how they shouldn't be messing with small town villages. <laughs> now you see why we're the personality. Now you're seeing why we're the personality. But I also <laughs> like the fact that you don't know what their moms look like, so... <laughs> It's okay. Well, We're just gonna. That's where the charisma comes in, my it. friend. Yes, I love it. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh no! Uh, in our last team game, uh, before you showed up, I actually convinced an, an evil witch that she was my grandma. 
Yeah, our last campaign, she somehow yeah. managed to cause the evil person we were supposed to kill to become our grandma of sorts. Yeah. And since we're not going to revisit that campaign, probably, she was supposed to be the BBEG. Or one of them. The big bads. Come on, you know you guys love me. Yeah, and Red also caught us uh, just to randomly hear a random what the fuck in the distance <laughs> from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, so, uh, um, does he, so does he get, uh... Cast your spell, oh. Ren. Cast your spell. <laughs> So, yeah, um, basically, so I guess because of the modifier, it goes, and it works, but, wh what, you oh, oh, you mean for the, um, when I casted the spell, it was eight. Uh, okay. But, and my, you have yeah, six, I guess. So you rolled a six. <laughs> no, I rolled it. No, I rolled an 8, and it's plus 6 since it was a magic spell, wasn't it? I also love how none of these okay. guys are attacking us. I'm so confused. Yeah. I'm very fortunate for that. They see where the threats are. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, we got one swing at, at Vic, but it missed. And the rest are just too stupid to realize that they're supposed to be, like, attacking and killing. Yeah, I, I'm just like, trying- Like, you guys are orienting them a bit from their pre- from their real mission. Yay, we're distractions! So, right. does my spell work? And if so, what happens? So- you cast your spell, oh, no. and you manage to make very ugly impressions of these orcs' mothers, which they do not believe are their mothers, mothers for, for like a second, like, what the but hell? But they're orcs. But they're orcs. Their mothers are supposed to be. Oh, wait, I shouldn't be saying that. My mother was an orc. <laughs> it's just really crude versions of what Dill looks like, but older. <laughs> <laughs> like you have know, blood up! and then you sit down like no face whatsoever. You no, no, no. Have and, like extra sword. No, no, no. What <laughs> is that, me? Like, arms on it. Yeah, one just straight up. And it's it... <laughs> like these what is... are bad. No, no, no. What? One, one just straight up already looks like him. Already looks like me. Yes, there is one illusion that just looks completely like that. But just looks, from what just, they form, that's the actual normalist looking one. Just looks like Dill, but in like a 1950s housewife. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> in my voice, like, how dare you attack an innocent villain? How dare you attack innocent villagers? I thought I told you better. Attack a real peep him, real front. Oh god, they're gonna start flirting with each other. Both <laughs> dead. <laughs> my character isn't that type of bard. Oh wow. Uh, I love how everyone thinks my my character is that type of bard that flirts with everyone. You anything that just walks your way into this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. You're my a bard. It is... comes with the territory loss. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we go to fight the dragon. The dragon's like, I'm sorry, I'm already taken. I'm already in a serious relationship with another bard. And my character's just walk in the I room. wasn't gonna ask. You just walk in the room and the dragon's like, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm taken. And my character's like, I wasn't gonna <laughs> Wait, okay, let's continue. my character's a bard Wait. too. So you know what that it, but it would be different. You know how it would yeah, be but different? You're a child. Yeah, you're a no, child. wait, 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 wait. Hear me out, hear me out. It would be different. Instead of a relationship, it would be, oh, I, I want to adopt this child. It would be, yeah. It would be like, yes, I am your, your parent now. I am your guardian. Yes. Whose turn is it now? Whose Take turn is this it now? money. 
Uh, I believe we do the. I believe the they're dead. turn now. The Please fallout bro. needs to happen with all these illusions. <laughs> they're know. all. Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> what's... Okay. Okay. So, how close to Vinny is any it, of the other? It's Vic. It's Vicky. How am I the Vicky. only one who knows? I'm sorry. How so, close to Vicky is the last couple orcs? So Vic managed to send one orc flying backwards a couple of feet, and it has two HP left. Uh, there's one orc burning thing right now. Who oh. is right behind Vic and it's just burning that's Granted, standing like three feet away from him. Yeah, for it to be for him to have been burning, he has to be have been within five feet of me. So you would still get that sneak attack on him. Depending okay. on if there's, you want to get the guy that's on fire. Yeah. I wanna go there's attack no the guy who is on fire because I have fire resistance, so I can really get in there. Well, the closest orc to you would be like two feet away, and it's the one you threw the dagger into the, into his knife, into his hand. You mean he's still alive against Lost and then me? Yeah. Yes, he has seven points of damage. Ooh. And surprisingly, it's the one with the most health. Okay. But that's the I one I set the... on fire, wasn't it? No. no, that's another one. Okay. That's the one that was laughing at her first attack. Okay, I just want to make sure. Hmm. My character will my character will successfully kick this guy's butt if it's the last thing he does. He has made him angry. I like how you're just beating up two orcs without even trying. No. You're just struggling to, to beat up one. No, no, technically you are beating up three orcs and they're struggling to beat up one. Can I oh. use my ukulele as a weapon? I mean, I think I remember you mentioning you could. The attacks. Uh, I'm trying to think of what my character can do than just running around. But he's a uh, child. Uh, Brua, what do you plan to do? The one that's closest to me, how close to Vicky is he? Like, just within range for that sneak attack, or...? So, he is in two feet of you, but for Vic, he is like, uh, seven. Or so. Hmm. Alright, what do you plan to do? I'm sorry, is it my turn? Or no, what? it's still okay. Oh! Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what to do, because like... Is he within five feet of anyone else on the group? Uh, he is about right in front of Dale. Oh! Okay, then I'm gonna sneak attack him, which would be a d4 and d6, right? Mm hmm D4 to hit and then d6 for damage? No. Uh, a d20 is to hit. So okay. roll the d20 plus whatever your modifier is for the dagger, which should be dex plus proficiency. Mm. Unless you've already rolled that. 16 altogether. And then the DM needs to tell us if that hits or not. Okay, so did you roll for damage yet? No, I rolled just to hit him. Okay, so this guy, he rolled a 3 for counter, so you're definitely going to hit him, so roll for damage. Okay. And then that damage will be 1d4 plus 3d6, because you're level 5. Actually, right, so let me make sure. I believe so, though. Yeah, level 5 is 3d6. Um, plus your dex. Hmm. 
Wait, so it's the d6 and then dexterity and not the d4. What do you mean? Like, I don't roll the d4 until I, like, level up again or something, right? No, you do. Because that, that's, okay. the, that's the dagger. The dagger is the d4. Okay. And then you, with all your expertise and roguish training, that's what's upping it to... That's what's letting you add 3d6. Okay. So is the d6 just me rolling it three times, or...? Yes. Okay. So that was one, a three, and a two, with the dagger being a three. I promise you it gets better later down the line, I, I swear. Yeah. It will. Right now we're all just still learning. You're fine. This is so, what you need a session zero for. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're restarting this one. So we're restarting this venture, right? We're all gonna re-meet again later. We're gonna properly meet each other next time, probably, yeah. Yeah. I'll okay, think about guys. that. I might uh, so uh how much damage do you do? And then I just add it all up together, right? Yeah, add it all up together. And if you haven't already, add your dagger. Nine plus nine. But also remember, um, just as a as, as a side, you can only do sneak attack, I believe, once a round. <laughs> I believe. So if for any reason you have multiple attacks, you can only do the sneak attack once. Which for Rogue, I'm not entirely sure if you actually get extra attacks or not. That would be a 18 for damage. Ooh, a solid 18, huh? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Wow. Language! Wait. All over kill. Sorry. Ooh. What did you... So you did 9... Roll the damage, correct? What's your dex modifier? Nine. You can't have a plus nine for dex. I'm sorry. Uh, if you have a plus three and dex, and a saving throw of, and a saving throw. Oh, six. plus three. Yeah. Okay. Let me recalculate that. So it should just be nine plus three. Twelve. Yeah. I'm wondering Sorry who the actual that. DM is now. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so, you run uh, run behind Dale. You do a backflip over his head, grabbing the dagger inside by this orc's shoulder and pull it out out as painfully as possible and you slice his throat open, killing him instantly. Apparently I'm like hardcore goth. <laughs> You're a very violent person, I will add, I will say that. And my character is loving your violentness. Finding quite beautiful. So that is the first orc dead. Nah. Wait, so who's dead? Uh, that would be the orc that was standing right in front of you, Dale. God dang it, I was gonna punch him again! Oh, wow. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> and now I don't know any attack spells, so. Okay, so now it's Dale's turn. God dang it, I was gonna punch him again. And I feel like my character's anger has finally cooled down. All right. So to Odale, uh, first off, the third orc that uh, Vic did not finish off with his, his starting attack comes running toward you, axe in hand, jumping, screaming, die! Oh boy. My character takes out his, oh no, 
Wait, what can my care? I don't have any spells right now. What can I do? I only have healing animal for. Can I get my can I get my horse to kick him? Uh, <laughs> sir, I could see about your horse apparently reacting somehow. I have bar animal friendship. It's charm though. So, uh. What do I roll to charm my horse to say, yo, pony, kick him? Uh, I. Um, I guess. A d20? Uh, I have, like, a spell I could use. I'm just gonna use it. Uh, charmed. Uh, let him. A spell that lets you be beast that meant no harm. Choose the beast that can fire. Oh, shoot. Uh, if the beast has intelligent higher, the beast must succeed with some fro saving throw. Uh, cast spell you can use. I don't know what to do. Okay. So just, um, just use. Hmm. I can't. I don't want to just say things, though. Please just say something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, please. Uh, you want a damaging spell? Like I said, distant whispers is always a good idea. If you would I can't rather find go. It. Distant whispers. I mean, I can just tell you. Like, I play bars all the time. No, no, I'll show. You, no, I'll show you what I can. Sh what spells I can learn right now, so you can help pick out spells after this. I just want to get my horse to kick him. Uh, okay, so your horse is already your horse. So yeah. As assuming it's friendly towards you, animal friendship is going to do a whole lot for you. Uh, that's just going to be you rolling for the horse. Uh, I don't know what type of horse it is. There's war horse. There's normal horses. There's just whatever horse you. There's Galahad. For its stats. Arthur's Galahad. Uh, explain, the, explain the type of horses. Actually, a horse based off in real life. Knights used to ride the horses. They're usually horses that will usually ride around carrying carriages and stuff like that. That's the type of horses. I'm horse if um, soldiers use them. Oh, wow. I'm just going to do uh, that. Good. I was just going to say it was a carriage horse. So, uh, so what do I roll for my horse to kick him? So I also... you're going to use the hooves action. Which is a plus six to hit. Ooh. It has a reach of five feet, so it's going to get in close. I, I just quickly pulled up. I'm sorry, DM, if you don't want me to do this. I just quickly pulled up the stats for a war horse. No, no, no. Please continue. This is a good learning thing for me. All right. So, again, and of course, we can also retcon this later if you don't want it to be a war horse. Uh, I don't know if you would have bought a war horse. <laughs> I think it's like a hundred. His mom old. was a warrior. His mom was a warrior. Her dad was a farmer. So we'll, we'll assume it's a war horse. <laughs> um. So melee weapon attack of plus six to hit. Let's start off. So, with that. so wait, what's melee melee weapon? <laughs> melee weapon is just getting in close. That's all. What that do really I roll? Means. What do I just roll? Uh, one d twenty, the twenty sided one... die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus six. I got a 16 plus 6 equals 22. Right. Okay, uh, I guess roll for damage for this horse. How far away were we from where the war horse was? Oh, wow. The horse is really close to us. Like, it was out right outside the, uh, outside the tavern. Okay. So he, she's seeing all this go down. Yeah, and I'd then... say the war horse is, like, possibly four feet away. Yeah. If all right. Uh, to keep things a little easier on you, DM, mm -hmm. try to keep distance in increments of five. So, like, I would not be able to attack anyone, at least in D&D &D terms. I would not be able to attack anyone if there are three people in my space. Five feet is everyone's space. Mm. So okay. five okay. feet against five feet, that's good melees. But if there's like four people within four feet of each other, that's going to be real awkward. <laughs> I'll do so, to remember that for the future. Yeah. Just for future reference, of course, you know, we can still stay with things now. But just for yeah. future reference, try and keep anything within like five increments of each other. So what do I roll? So what do I roll for my war horse? That, what do I roll for damage for my war horse? 2d6 plus 4. So 2, 6, 
two d sixes was plus four. Okay. Plus four, I guess. I got four plus four does eight deals of damage. Oh wow! My character yells out to his horse, "Fern, kick!" Oh, the horse. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, Fern, oh. it's time for ho new horseshoes. <laughs> horse. Fern hears this and comes running up, up, hit it, headbutting the orc out of the air. No, 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 she orc. just kicks. She just kicks hey guys, him as he's running listen, across me. Just listen, just listen to this for listen, you love this. The horse headbutts the orc out of the give a leap and headbutts the orc out of the air. And as the orc lands on the ground, the orc heads the death is the orc's head in with his front hooves. Is it she? The orc. Is it she? I base off a real horse? Yes. Okay. And this orc. As it looks upon the flattering, flattering of blood, smiles wickedly. Don't you think that's kind of violent, Fern? Fern? <laughs> wow. My character's generally very afraid of his horse now. Wait, I'm so confused. Wait, well, Fern did what? Fern killed killed a man. I I needed to hear it again. I just had to hear it the second time around because I I I'm trying to imagine that happening. So the horse head did a leap, head butted the orc out of the air, and as soon as the orc hit the ground, Fern smashed his head in with his front hooves, and as she burns a girl. Blood, he. He smiles wickedly. Please don't say they're glad that the horse is on our side. <laughs> that horse belongs to no one. <laughs> oh, I know that reference! Uh, I know that reference! Horse, I'll pay that you horse. three carrots if you can kick him into the next town over. <laughs> my horse just refuses. My horse refuses because it loves me. That horse saw, has seen me growing up. That horse loves me, and I've taken good care of it. Mm -hmm. She's an all old right, girl, right. but she loves me. Alright, uh, it is now, uh, Vic's turn. <laughs> How many orcs are left? Uh, two. Sorry, I was taking one's a drink. One's just getting up, and the other one's still somewhat burning. I think we all need a drink after what that horse has done. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm a child. I just need apple juice. I just uh, turn to the orc. So I I basically <laughs> threw one, right? There's one on the ground over there. Yeah, you hit one with his with, with your whip and he went flying ring, and he has no armor now. Um, cool. I drop my longsword, pull out my trident. <laughs> Ooh. Which is a throwing weapon. And I'm gonna throw it at the guy on the ground. Alright. What'd you roll? Doing that now. Ah, that is a Yay! 19 to hit. Alright. Roll for damage. Uh, that is 8 damage towards him. Okay. And you things. all see me uh, take out. I, well, yeah, you all see me take out the trident on my back and just throw it at the guy on the ground. And I'm going to walk up to. So here's the full thing that happens I have my sword and shield. I look at the guy that's on fire. I look at the guy on the ground, fully drop my longsword, take out my um, trident, throw it at the guy on the ground. I turn bonus action. This is a this is a thing I can do uh, for being an Eldritch Knight. I summon my sword back into my hand, so oh I don't boy. have to pick it up. Ooh. And I attack this guy. Well, uh, apparently your DM fire. is now uh, is now having a bro uh, having a bro crush on uh, <laughs> our secondary DM. <laughs> I've already okay with this relationship. 
You you weren't supposed to know about the bro crush. Just knew. <laughs> it's not a bro crush. Just say it's a gay crush. No, no, it's a bro crush because uh, he I know. He yeah, just, I know. I was so joking. Was All right, so I. <laughs> oh well, thank you. Uh, I did roll to hit. He does with my have sword. the best. He does have the best voice out of all of us. I'm not gonna lie. So far, this chat is the only place I've heard that my voice is not. So. I mean, have you heard mine? So. <laughs> I'm hearing it now, and it Yours sounds is beautiful. Lovely. It really no, does. No, it doesn't. It, Trust me, I'm, I I'm like the only really whiny child. <laughs> I'm the oh, only boy. one here who has a bad voice. Trust me, I'm the only one. All of you guys sound lovely. Yeah. Oh, thank you. My voice is amazing. My audience so, agrees. Okay. So besides him throwing okay. the trident at the orc on the ground, who, by the way, now has a trident in his head. Nice. That was the goal. <laughs> So what? you will go to attack the orc that is oh. is on fire, correct? Yep, Man, and I you... did already roll. I All got right, 24 did... to hit. I rolled a 17 plus 7. Ooh. Uh, okay. So you then run up to the orc that is on fire, which he is now putting out the fire. And as he looks at you, you, he just, you just stab him right through the chest. All Kill right. Him. I look around. This man scares me. Does combat <laughs> seem to be over? Uh, as you all look around, you see it, to, to, to pretty much be astonished by your work, mostly Vic. Vic, Vic's work. Work, I guess. Uh, a demon and flies up to you. Who dares kill my subordinates? It's... Hold up, let me, let me pull up the demon real quick. Apparently the horse. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I point to the, the most deadly weapon. weapon. <laughs> the most deadliest character in our party is the horse. Oh, my. <laughs> Wait, the most painful only... person in the party has a horse that wants to ki that will kill anything. Did only two people actually kill orcs, and it was the fighter and a horse? It's okay. Three people, technically. Brewer did kill one. Okay, okay. What's funny? It did attack one, but uh, it didn't last long. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, th there he is. So this demon with wings comes in saying, who dares kills my subordinates? Looking at the horse with the bloody hoof and this. Because with he is bloody the most sword. threatening of you all, apparently. See, because he is also the most handsome. He's like, how dare you be more handsome than me? <laughs> I think, just, I think just, this throws this Mike. throws Vicky off. It's <laughs> like wow. <laughs> Why can't you yell out? Hey, I think you're pretty handsome too. We all have our inner beauty. <laughs> Meanwhile, my character is silently trying to figure out how to finesse that trident away from him. The demon sucks. <laughs> Wait, what? What did you say? Yeah, you're, you're kind of going robot again. Yeah, I got this. Oh, I was about to kick him and bring him back. Wow. What did he say to me? The demon yells at you and says, shut up, useless hat. <laughs> I thought my character was quite beautiful. <laughs> my character walks walks back, grabs his horse, walks back in the tavern crying. My character just chases after him. Get back out there! <laughs> my gosh, I can't escape with my brother with all these guys here. Go out there and start killing! And my character 
just starts kicking his leg. Like, stop crying, dang it! There's no time! Be a man and go kill! <laughs> like... <laughs> Thank you for right, actually so... know, under, him knowing that I was a man. The Are you... old ladies thought I was a woman! Oh, for the way down! Here. Okay. So can now you... you're roboting. <laughs> Full honesty, I would have thought you were a woman to begin with if it wasn't for the fact that you literally have an app like an Adam's apple. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's continue. We're getting so off track. Like Wong Tu Wong Fu, if you don't get the reference. Watch Tu Wong Fu. Okay, okay look, we're getting uh, off track. Okay, so the demon, so the demons, uh, getting mad at a Vic, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And I just kind of so look at him and say, "His spear at Vic, saying, my name is Marcus, and I shall be the death of you.' Who does he say that to? Vic. Oh. Uh, I just, uh, <laughs> I just lower my sword at him, and I go, "All right then." All right then, Marcus. My character's just going to the bar drinking. <laughs> Stop drinking! <laughs> but once... so I guess you can. I'll and fight I'll you. Just be out of this fight, apparently. <laughs> I just say, a... so my character. Pick. Please roll to see what or you guys are going in. You two. All right. <laughs> I rolled pretty bad. I got what'd an you, eight. What'd you roll, uh, Rain? Oh, he's attacking me too? I mean, you have the opposite of attacking the dude. Also an eight. <sighs> okay, since, it, since his focus is mainly on Vic, he's gonna go first. Ooh. Vic or the demon? You, Vic. Um, Wait, I guess the demon first. And she's the one starting the attack. Alright. So he charges at you. Who? Spear in, or in hand. And he rolls a 17. Alright. My armor class is a 19. Ooh. All right, want me to roll for damage or? Uh, okay. So here's I'm just gonna go ahead and say something I've been wanting to say for a bit, and I was gonna okay. save. Uh, again, it's fine if this is what we want to do. Uh, kind of like rolling and counter rolling, but when mm -hmm. it comes to actually hitting and attacking, that doesn't really happen all that often. Uh, okay. so he rolled a seventeen, or you rolled a dot. You rolled a number, and then with his modifiers, he got a 17. Oh, he rolled a 17. Uh, I, I'm looking at his modifier. This guy, his modifier is now. Uh, so that would, modifier would go in strength or dexterity? I don't know. It just it depends on the demon you have, my man. Uh, there's like, there's a hundred demons in D&D. &D. Uh, his demon thing is called a cam bomb. Oh, put I might want to put that in chat. I don't know what that is. I can try and look it up for you, but that would. Uh, here, I'll I'll do the thing just give me. Can you see uh, it? Uh, barely. Hold on, let me see if I can't full screen this thing. No, I don't know how to full screen it. Can you spell that for me? C A M B I. O N. She looks like a she demon. Oh, a Cambian. Hmm. Yes, Cambian. I definitely know what that is. Hmm. <laughs> a devil woman. Okay. T time to uh time. To you guys, oh, you guys do understand. 
that I didn't say anything. Plus, I'm recording, right? By the way, just so you know, I'm recording. Remember? Just so you know, I did cut his health in half. Who? The the demon. Oh. So what is he's attacking me with the spear? Yes. So you should just see spear on his actions. Yeah, I'm looking at that now. Look over. You just just should just see plus seven to hit. Uh, yep, plus seven to hit. Yeah, everything you need will be on that page. Got it. Got it. I'm still new to this DM thing. I think so. Yeah, no I'll problem. I'll take whatever help I can get. Baby's first session. We're, are we still gonna post this? Yes. Yeah. Oh god. That's just why I say probably when I cut some stuff. Oh. Oh no, we're going completely raw, dude. Oh no. Yeah, we're going behind. That's what she now. said. Okay, time to send someone. Time to send someone to horny jail. No! Don't say it. Damn. Dang. Ooh. Dang it. You got put it. in the back again. Lady. <laughs> uh, we. We're getting that. <laughs> All right. Uh, you weren't in there for a minute. You need to go back. No. Hey guys, Thank you. let me finish this, okay, guys? Here. Okay. So seventeen plus seven. That's twenty. What? Yes. Okay. So my armor class is nineteen. So he hits me. And then right. you roll damage. He rolled an 11. For damage? Yes. All right. That's the first time I've taken damage today. <laughs> you already got me a uh, fourth of the way down. Oof. You are now right. at 33 health. Now, um, uh, if you look up, uh, right above a spear that says multi attack. Mm -hmm. So you can actually do that twice. Oh, I can do that. Actually, I need to see what I can do. So, so yeah, if you just read that, the Cambion makes two melee attacks or fire ray twice. All right. So he did. But, so his first attack, he stabs you with his spear right in, in the shoulder. And then he throws you across the field and then charges at you again. This time he rolled an 18 plus 7, so that would be 25. Yeah, that hits. And for damage, a 2. Oh, thank God. <laughs> well, I guess I don't have him I'm using my only spell on now. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently the only apparently the second only attractive guy in this group. I I'm not sure if Brom was attractive guy or not. Are you attractive guy? Who? You. Bro what? Brom what? I don't know, am I an attractive guy? <laughs> you have some pretty good features. My character's just ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Cries while drink at the bar. <laughs> well, you have to remember that this demon was commanding orc. You know, so. You know what? I think I'm gonna get some actual alcohol. Uh, I think. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do this. So, what my character is gonna do is take. A dot, and this is like one of his weapons, actually, and just, just throw it at his hand every time he tries to pick up a piece of alcohol, and saying, okay. "Stop yeah. drinking the alcohol! Get out there!" Well, All we right. know who the side characters are. Okay. So Vic, it's your turn. Who's turn? Vic. Ah. Okay, it's Vic's turn. Yes. 
Okay. I think he kind of stands up and he looks at this guy. And I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb. Ooh. Ooh. Now, I do want to... I did look at the Cambion a little bit. So I'm going to play it true to what Vicky would do. And I would I would have done lightning damage. But... um. If you want to look over at the Cambion, you see, see he has damage resistances. Lightning okay. is one of those. You see cold, fire, lightning. You see all those? I'm looking, I'm looking. Saving throws, kills, damage resistance. Yep. Yeah. So those are everything. So if he gets attacked with any of those damage types, mm -hmm. you take half. Ooh, okay, okay. Mm. So I'm going to throw this chromatic orb at him. And again, I do want to play true to my character, and I don't want to... Well, I guess I am technically cheating, but <laughs> I am also cheating to help. Yay! So I'm going to throw lightning at him. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I hit. I hope I do. 25 to hit. Alright. 25. And he rolled... Again, uh, he, he, he doesn't really it. have to roll. Yeah. Well, he has an armor of 10, since I also uh, decreased that a little bit at 2. Okay. So it does hit, so roll 4 damage. All right. Uh, So that would be 13 damage. But since he's resistant to it, he'll take half. All right, so I'm going to turn that into a I'll turn it into a 7 alright so 41 give me a minute I, I gotta do math here that's fine that would be 34 alright and since that was a magic attack, I guess that that ends your turn. Um, I'm going to do a bonus action actually. Ooh. Uh, just something very quick. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna second wind. <laughs> probably should Ooh. wait. Should probably wait. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay. For people who want to know, second wind, I get to add one d10 plus my fighter level to my health. Ooh. Don't forget, you also still have the spell from Dale earlier. So you have that plus That five. is true. Wait, actually, I completely forgot that. Hey, I've done something use useful today! Yay! And my name's Dill. <laughs> like, making a deal. <laughs> Alright. I'm back up to full health. Oh, I you rolled, said uh, you healed I yourself? Roll yeah, I rolled a 9 plus 5. Ooh, okay, okay. And I haven't really had to use the Bardic Inspiration. I'm not saying it's not helpful, but I haven't really had a reason to use it. Okay. Yeah. I'm a useless character. Hey, like character. no. We just need to find your spot. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm also pretty ugly, too. I just isn't good for a part. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... I've okay, so I found out something with my character. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'll tell you about it on whenever it's my turn. So you use your boat bonus <laughs> action to heal yourself? Yep, and that's the end of my turn. Alright. So Rua, do you want to attack? Um Is he standing or is he like flying at all? Uh, it looks like he's standing on the ground right now. Okay. And I'm within five feet of my comrades. Uh, considering he threw... Yes, he, he is... You who are in, within five feet of your comrade, yes. Wait, we are comrades? <laughs> yeah, us. We are our own comrades. <laughs> Comrade! 
Please hold on. You guys got the jokes? Candy. Oh, I th wait. I'm so confused. It's late at night. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. Yeah, hopefully, for those who are wondering why we're all confused and stuff like that, and all this, it's really late at night. This is section <laughs> zero. Hopefully, next session, when we all truly meet properly... Because I pretty much have given up on actually trying to make this a proper game because my character is just being depressed out in uh, No Man's Land. It is 2.30 a.m. 2.24, so... actually. All right. Mind if I pick your brain real fast? Who's? What's up? Earlier, did you say that I could only use the sneak attack once per turn or once per enemy? Once per turn. So I could use it again? Yes. Okay. Okay. Then I am going to do that. And my goal is to... Climb up onto his back and try and rip one of his wings out with my dagger. Ooh. I got a seven to actually get him. A seven, huh? Hmm. Well, he isn't really paying any attention to you. His focus is mainly on Vic. So, Her you know what? Or on the D four. <laughs> Sorry, go go on. Uh, I guess I'll allow it. What? So go ahead. Two. Four. Four. We still have half an hour left to finish this up. Hopefully next time we'll all be better in figuring out our traits better so the fighting things will be a lot quicker. Yeah, and plus we, uh, plus damage. Yeah, plus we'll be used to our characters damage. and everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So, I already put uh, already had all my spells saved up. Apparently, I was wrong. So you sneak up behind this demon, and you, you cut off one of his wings. And he screeches in pain. Oh, dang. You could do a better job. Actually make it sound like you're in pain. Oh! I'm doing the best I can. Actually here. stab <laughs> yourself. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. Let me show you how to do it. I'm going to actually shopping myself right now. Oh, shoot. There's Let blood. Shoot, I'm getting blood in my chair. I'm getting blood in my chair. You did not cut yourself. Don't lie. Actually, I think right. I might scratch myself a bit, though. No, right, let me do some math. Girl. You'll walk it off. Yeah, that's what my dad always said. Even when I broke her finger. <laughs> that's, that's not a joke. It really isn't. I'm sure no one knew I broke a finger. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. So that ruins one of them thinking that I I'll make this work. I'll make this. Work. So he screams in pain. How dare you! As he casts a fire ray, eh? 
And uh, he rolls a 16 plus uh, a 7, then, which would make it... Um, Hold up, wait, did I do that right? No, I was supposed to roll a 3d6. Mm. So you're attacking me with fire, correct? Yeah, fire ray. Okay. I have a resistance to fire. So that's halved. And I want to use uncanny dog as... Uncanny dodge! as my reaction. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Oh. Which also halves the damage that I would have taken. Oh, okay. Let me roll for the damage. Now. He does, like, zero damage to you. Ah! I laugh in his face. Mm. I yeah, spit he on rolled a two for damage. <laughs> Nice. And then he sends up a second fire ray into the air, calling for one of the drakes. As the drake bursts through the guards, he hops on to the drake as it lowers his head. Mm. I shall be back, and I won't be be so merciful next time. My killer, my character runs away. My character sticks his head out the window and flicks him off. <laughs> My character, after drinking, after taking one long drink, you guys probably need healing, don't you? Stop drinking! Uh, where's that, where's that deal? No, I'm perfectly fine. I never took any damage. Uh, Same. Uh, I'm just get. I'm just been yelling at Dill because I don't know. I don't know you people. Yeah, I uh, go up to Brewer. Well, I guess I don't know your name. I go up to the Tiefling, and I just want to say thank you for your help. My name is uh, Ulanvik. If you want, you can call me Vicky. Brewer My character leans out, uh, takes their hand towards you to shake your hand. Brewer Tamara. I, uh, I do the Predator handshake. Has anyone noticed that my familiar hasn't done really anything but just stand and look at me while I flick people off and try to throw objects at Dill? My, char my character finally picks his head out of the bars after realizing that he can't help anyone heal. My name's Dill. Dill Smith. Pleasure to meet y'all. <laughs> and what about you, child? What's your name? Also, where is your mom and pa? Uh, dead? Oh. And that's a wrap on his character development. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Actually, that that it actually is a lie. Uh, I, he character? just says dead. Shut up! We're not supposed to know. Wait until wait until later seasons. God. And my horse here is named Fern. Fern. I guess she's a lot stronger than I originally thought. <laughs> Vietnam flashbacks for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 the horse has Vietnam flashbacks. Is the horse in the in the tavern drinking beer with everybody? <laughs> yeah, she probably is. Like this is how I get my strength, Clug. Dragging the orc's corpse, herbs whose head got smacked in with it. Jesus. <laughs> this horse! This horse! This horse is going to be the only reason why my character makes it so far in the game. Watch it. I want to take Brua inside. Um, I want to kind of look at everyone and. Ignoring all the guards and the chaos behind me. I just want to look at everyone yeah, go. The guards are just pissing off what orcs are left and dumping up all their dead. No, no, no. This all around old. Everywhere. 
<laughs> no, no, this is really gonna suck for my character because if any guards go in there, they're not. They're gonna be debating whether if they should kill my character or not. But I just want to look at the four of them and go. The four of you have never really been in combat, have you? I just no. stab well, people I, with I my look knife. At the children. I look at the children and go, you two are understandable. I just stab like people with a knife <laughs> and be beat them with a stick. Is... <laughs> to be fair, this is the farthest I've ever been from home. Hmm. So, why did you run outside towards the danger? What were you going to fight for? I just want... <clears throat> I just really wanted to help people. I might not be a fighter, but... <laughs> I do know a lot about healing potions, and hopefully healing. Okay, that is very noble. And I kind of look outside. Uh, you said everything is practically wrapping up outside, right? Yes. I go, if that's the case, there's a lot of people outside that need your help. You're not going to do a whole lot drinking in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My character grab him go runs outside to see what he can do to help. Oh, uh, you guys run out. I want to look at Brewa and go, you were very nice out there. You helped me out a lot. Uh, I'll pay for your room tonight, if you like. Mm -hmm. um, nice work. I think we'd make a good team. Mm -hmm. Brewa legitimately smiles at that. And then frowns, thinking about that offer. I would love to... But I can't stay in town too long. Hmm. That's perfectly fine. Then I'll just buy you a drink. That'd be nice. Thank you. And I want to look at the children. Let me guess. What are you doing <laughs> here? <laughs> <laughs> what? You go, not going to give us any soapy sap mess? Mess like you did with the other two? It took no, we got 20 children. minutes. I understand that you ran towards the fight thinking you could help or whatever. No, we were trying to run away, but then not oh, chase us down. It's okay. true. That is what happened. And then I got all happened. you crazies showing up, trying to kill him, and luring him here towards <laughs> us. I mean, look how scared my brother was. And I we we just look at... <laughs> Can my character just be outside helping out the sick while listening to all this? Like, helping out the people out there and listening to all this? If you're gonna eavesdrop, get in here! <laughs> My character's carrying people into the into the place while you guys are talking to get them set up to be for medical treatment. I'll be honest, I didn't notice what you two kids did out there. What with the fire spear? Much of attention past the fight, but you guys seemed pretty prolific in what you can do. I just threw a fireball at a man and flicked a guy off that was riding a dragon. I don't understand what could have been there. Well, I was also trying to throw darts at a drunk man, including other objects, to get him to stop drinking, who apparently gave up in mid-battle. <laughs> at your age, you can cast fireball? It's called Flame Spear. And Vicky kind of nods and he goes, very nice. Please tell me this isn't actually canon. This is like just random section zero. We're going to re-meet next section because I just gave up my character halfway because I'm tired. So I want like the last five minutes of this recording <laughs> so I can try and animate over it because oh my god. <laughs> just end <and> you! <laughs> we definitely know who's going to be the main character in the story. <laughs> Please don't. I devise this guy to be a background character. <laughs> and I and devise if you, do, if you do animate it, I do want to see it. I will do my best because oh. this is good. I devise oh. my I devise my horse to be just a just to be a carry horse. It's purely much gonna murder everyone. Elon Vic tur turns towards the horse, brother uh. in arms. <laughs> and I buy the horse a drink. <laughs> Rue would like to join in drinking with the horse. Well, first off, here's what my character does. Get and back in. That's the end. That's the end of Ulan Vic for now. I've talked yeah. too long. Yes.
My character just turns to Dale, screaming outside, GET IN HERE! YOU OWE ME AND MY BROTHER FOOD! My character's already in there, Kira! Oh, well then he turns to over and, and be and like- your bo body bodies him to get them to a place to rest? Drop oh. the bodies, they don't mean nothing. <laughs> Someone... My character drops the bodies! <laughs> Someone will collect them later! My brother needs food! Uh, barmaid, uh, I'll pay for these- I'll pay for all these people's meals. Uh, just, um, just hurry up and make them. Order whatever you want. Uh, give me a second, I need to heal this guy. He has a broken arm. I, t oh, I, I turn- I turn to the rest of the party. I said, it's all on him. Just, I'll order for all of you. <laughs> and my brother has one. <laughs> as long as y'all can sneak me some- get, make sure I get double milkshakes. So I'll let them order, uh, have the barmaid tell my character how much it costs. Alright, so, um, that's gonna be it. I was gonna end the session there. Uh, would okay. you order food? Okay, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Please tell me this isn't the actual first section. Please tell me. I want my health potion back. Mm. <laughs> I'll think about it. Yep. But that was a mm. pretty good session. Ooh, it's cool. I had a cool oh. joke. So, I'm just gonna do a, like, this cutoff thing, and we're gonna go to the demon and see what he's up to. Who? Oh yeah, thanks. Oh wait, uh, Ren, uh, Ren, you should probably start eating the quarter soon. Thank you guys for all showing up. Hopefully next session we'll have better ideas of what to do. And my character is a little bit about a character right now, so hopefully later it'll get better. Everyone say bye and tell give your peace. Oh wait, I am even done. Oh, when y'all say bye, I'll just say my la the and my usually ending thing. So uh, everyone say bye. Finish up with what Marcus is doing, though. Everyone continue. Everyone say. Everyone say your last final word before he says. Before we all say bye. Bye. Uh, bye. But anyway, I'm going to teach them goodbye. <laughs> I, bye. I. Thank you. The orc is paying for everything. Well, Holy half. For our today adventures end. Let's see what our enemies plot. Mm -hmm. As the demon Marcus is Marcus kneels down before mm -hmm. one of his masters. I have failed you. Please forgive me. It is true, Marcus. And I am very disappointed that you have failed me. However, considering the wound that you have taken, and I am willing to overlook this, but notice, failure again shall not be tolerated as, as, it, as a random fireball is cast in front of the demon Marcus's face. <laughs> and then cut out the cell intimidation. Do you understand? Yes, master. Good. How did the Drakes fare? I kept them on the sideline in order. Good. Next time um, you come across these. Foes who wound you so. Make sure you pre greet them properly and send the Drake back to them. I'm Wish. certain they'll be happy to see them again. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. As the story now fades off mm -hmm. and the second end. We should have invited the the Drakes to drink with us. <laughs> Cast animal friendship on the Drake. Yes! Oh no, I'm going to do that now. Uh, bye. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, and if you guys like this video, please say in the comments how much you love these characters. They worked hard on them. We worked hard on this session zero. No, this is not all canon well. Um, the actual original thing will happen soon.
Um, we'll make so, it half canon, okay? We'll make it half canon. We'll make it half. It's half canon. But, anywho, just always give everybody, you know, this video a like, share it, whatever. Tell everybody how much you love their characters. Tell me who your favorite characters are. Leave it in the comments. I will reply. All right. Oh, wait, can I leave? Can I leave my ending outro as well? Go ahead. And remember, say lost. Wait, or should it say say found? I don't know. Bye. Oh boy. <sighs> See you guys next time. Bye.